Welcome back to Smoker Ribs. I'm Russ Jones. Today is going to be a fun day. I've got another YouTuber going to be here in probably around 30 minutes. His name is Adam. He owns or runs the YouTube channel A Bomb 79. It's a machinist channel. It's not a cooking channel. Very interesting. This guy is really good at what he does. His channel is on fire. You're going to be meeting him momentarily. But first, I want to show you these ribs I got on here. We got six racks of ribs. And I've got different seasonings on those. Now last time I made ribs, they run out way too fast, so that's not gonna happen today. We're also gonna be steaming crawfish. But let me show you these rubs that I use on two racks. Until I run out, I'm using the uh, Radical Rub. This is by Swimming in the Smoke. Really good rub. Love this stuff, and as you can see, I'm completely out. So what I went to then was this bigger container. It's called Texas Best Rib Rub. It's by Heaven Made Products. Just got these in. He sent me about four of his seasonings the other day. Some of them are Cajun type seasonings, but this rib rub smells excellent. Can't wait to try that. All right, we'll be back when Adam gets here and uh, not really sure what we're gonna do. I know we're gonna eat good. We're gonna be eating ribs, like I said, steaming crawfish. And I'm not gonna elaborate a whole lot on the crawfish. You will see us doing it. But uh, if you want to know how to steam them, click the I card above. For that video, I go in depth on how to do that. All right, my buddy Adam is here. Adam, how you doing? I'm doing great, Russ. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to meet you finally. Yeah, it's good to meet you. Adam's got the channel A Bomb 79. He does machinist work. Very popular channel. Man, he's knocking them dead. Last time I looked, he was over 120,000 subscribers. I noticed a video the other day you did, man. It had like 35,000 views. Like boom. I like, man, there's a, lot, a big interest in what you do. Some of the videos that I put out, mainly the Saturday night special and, and machining specific videos, will hit between 30 and 40,000 views in, I'd say, within one week. Wow, that's yeah. fantastic. I'm only doing like a fourth of that, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, well I, I, you do some awesome videos, though, man. I appreciate and I, it. And I watch every one of them, and I'm, and I'm sure everybody else that watches your videos does, too, because you can put out some great content yourself. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm getting a pretty good following. It's a lot of fun, and that's how it all started for me was just out of fun, you know. Yeah. What made you even think about doing a YouTube video with machine work, of all things? Well, how it started for me was that I, I always, I had enjoyed sharing pictures of my work and my machine work and even other things like my cars and stuff. This was back whenever the uh, web forums were still really, uh, popular and everybody was going on forums a chat you know a chat room type thing and I was I started sharing pictures of my daily work on uh, practical machinists and I had a thread on there and, it, and it, it became really popular and a lot of views everybody was looking at it and so a little time went by a couple years and I started learning about these GoPro cameras so I was like I'd like to get one of these little GoPro cameras and maybe get some uh, machining video put on YouTube to share and so that's what I did. It took me about six months to work up the courage to actually take a video and post it on YouTube. And then as soon as I did, I started seeing those views and people commenting on it. And I was like, this is pretty cool. So I instantly bought software to edit videos and I started stepping up my game and I made it a, a couple fully edited videos and put it out there. And that's how it started. And everybody's been watching them since, you know, just. Uh, how long you been? with your YouTube channel now, how many years? Uh, four years now. Four years, wow. Four, actually, I believe May, so in about a month, next month is about four years of officially putting videos out. Yeah, you're out doing awesome. YouTube. I've been, this July will be five years for me. Really? Yeah, five years, has went by in a hurry too. It has, it has really flown by. And yeah, I notice you're getting really close to 100,000. Yeah, I'm, I'm gaining very fast. I, I expect be to be no there time. probably in a month, month and a half. That's so. right, that you'll be getting your silver plate button then. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to that. That's really that's really cool to get that get that in the mail. Oh, I it's bet. a nice achievement, you know. Yeah, it is. But it's it's all for fun, I, I, I still do it for fun. I, it's 
making videos for me is fun and I and because I have such an audience there that enjoy watching my videos and learning from what I do. I try to do it in an educational format as well as entertain a little bit as well and show a little bit of outside the shop stuff like I'm doing right now. You know, right. Outside the shop. And I have fans out there all over the world that just absolutely love what I put out there. So that drives me to just continue doing what I do and make videos and share my work. That's, yeah, that's like me, man. Just the people commenting and the people that really appreciate the effort you go through to put out these videos, that's the driving force. That's what keeps you going. That's yeah. what keeps you motivated. Right, it, it is. I, I like reading those comments that I get every week and. And you know you get those 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 real hardcore fans that leave you a comment every week, and just it's very enjoyable to read those comments and know that you're you're helping somebody and and they get something out of what you're the, the work that you put into Absolutely. making those videos because it is work. Yeah. It's oh a lot yeah. Of work to make these things. Yeah, that it is. And uh, I tell you what, you you need to go over there to A Bomb Seventy Nine. I'll have a link in the description box in the I card above as well and check out what this man does it'll amaze you really really talented <laughs> thanks russ i appreciate it man you know i, I got to tell you uh how i found your channel i didn't find it from uh, searching for you for barbecue or anything one of my one of my friends his name is dennis nolan and he works for niagara cutter have you ever heard of niagara cutter mm -mm. they make cutting tools for machine shops you know machine tools. okay they've been around a long time He's one of their head lead designers for their cutting tools. But anyway, I met him last summer at the 2016 Bar Z Bash out in, out in uh, California. And uh, we got to talking, and he's the one that told me about you. He goes, man, I watched this guy named Russ Jones, Smoky Rose Barbecue. And he goes, <laughs> I know you like doing barbecue. You need to check him out. So I came home, and I, and I found your channel, and I've been watching you ever since. I do remember you telling me that story. That, really? that's, that's pretty awesome, yeah. yeah. So he actually, when I mentioned you in my other video that I was coming over, he sent me an email. Really? And said, he said, hey, let, uh, uh, let him know that I, that I sent you to him. <laughs> so <laughs> cool. There it is. So how did you get started doing um, barbecue? I mean, I assume that you've probably been barbecuing your whole life. Yeah, I've been cooking basically since I was old enough to like camp out in the backyard. Yeah. And I used to study my mother, you know, she'd be in there cooking. And that's basically, I mean, she'd get up before anybody and make breakfast and then lunch and then supper. Right. And she was always in the kitchen. And I'm always hanging around at the table. And as I got older, I started quizzing her. Well, what are you doing now? Why are you doing that? Because I was interested yeah, in it. Because I was going to go in the backyard. I'm going to cook too, you know, is what I'm thinking. Yeah. And uh, so I kind of started getting a passion for it then. And then in adulthood, you know, I bought my first grill. I think it was one of these hibachi, little cheap hibachi grills. You just put a couple steaks on. Yeah. That was my first grilling experience. My dad never owned a grill, not that I remember. And uh, I don't remember ever having grilled food until I was an adult, you know, oh, yeah. and I started doing it myself. Yeah. And, uh, but as you know, through my channel, it's not all barbecue. It's not all grilling. I do a, a host of other things, Cajun right. cuisine, Southern seafood, you know, just things that I was raised on basically. Mm -hmm. But as far as the YouTube channel, I've kind of stumbled across it. I've heard of YouTube, you know, since the beginning of it yeah. and never really went there. And one day I did, and I was looking through barbecue channels and I got to look, and I'm like, man, I can do this, you yeah. know? I didn't even know you could make money from it. I had no yeah. idea you could make money from YouTube. Right. And I'm like, this would be a cool hobby. So. I started with a little iPhone 4 and started my channel, and yeah. there you go. People starting to watch and started to get a little following, you know, and it yeah. just grew out of that yeah. to what it is today. Right. But it, I was six months into it before I realized you could actually make money with YouTube, and that gave me more motivation. But it, it's not all about the money. I still do it yeah. because I love doing it, you know. I, I have a very similar situation there where I was doing YouTube for almost that first full year yeah. before I realized what monetization was on YouTube. Right. I had no idea, so I monetized my channel, you know, and, and now you, you make a, a little bit off of it. That's and right. It's really cool, but yeah. Absolutely. Uh, we, don't, we don't do it for the income. We, we do it because we, we love what we do. Yeah. You know, we love sharing what we do, and you do an awesome job at it, you know, and your, your videos are, are very professional too, you know, you, you get right to the point. You, you have really good editing, you get, you show exactly what the viewer wants to see, and it's great. That's why, and you got a great personality too. You know? I appreciate everybody, it. Everybody likes watching you and listening to you. 
another good aspect of it is the doors that it opens up through uh, being able to work with other companies, mm -hmm. you know, just like the uh, Lone Star Grills here, the yep. Cajun Rocket Pots and yep. a host of others, you know, it's opened a lot of doors in that avenue as well, you know, that area. Yep. And I'm sure it has for you as well. It has for me. I've got several uh, tooling companies that, you know, they, they reach out to me and they talk with me and say, hey, we'd like to, we'd like to help you out, you know, and so I've got several companies, you know, that I work with that that, uh, that like to contribute to uh, not only the uh, me and, and my shop, but the machining YouTube community as a right. whole. You know, so it's really great uh, working with some of those uh, outside people that that want to be a part of the community out there. Absolutely, and, you know, and it helps us out. You know? Yeah, it so does. It really does helps us out big time. Absolutely. Well, uh, Adam, I think we're getting ready to fire up some crawfish here. What do you think? I'm ready, man. These ribs are getting close. I need to check on them. Okay. And uh, we're going to be pegging out here shortly. Yeah, we got the uh, you got the ribs on the smoker here, and we got some crawfish over there in the basket, and we're getting ready <laughs> to boil some down, man. I can't wait. I love me some boiled crawfish. And I will, t I will admit this. I never admitted this. I've never cooked crawfish before. Really? I've only done shrimp and seafood, but I mean, I just haven't done crawfish. Now we're not boiling these, we're steaming these. Steaming and them, and he's right. gonna see firsthand the steaming method and he's gonna see the difference that it makes in crawfish. You're gonna be a believer once you eat these, I promise you. I'll probably be going home and trying it myself yep. after this. It does require two pots, but outside of that, you'll love it. Yeah. All right, well, I'm, I'm ready. All let's right, do it. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Crawfish are done. They're over there soaking. And uh, I, my plans were to have that done way before the ribs. Give us something to eat on, waiting on the ribs. Well, guess what? Here's the ribs. We both got a plate. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to try it and give a, give you our thoughts on it. Yeah, I haven't tried one yet, so here we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try these smoked ribs. Mm. Most excellent, man. Awesome. Taste that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's good, ain't it? That's some good stuff. All right, now you ate the mm -hmm. shed, what, yesterday? I did. I went to the shed barbecue and um, I had some of their ribs, but I tell you what, man. The heck with I the think, shed. I think I like these ribs a little bit better. <laughs> they got a little bit of heat on them, too. Yeah, it's you, got just a little bit of heat on them. That's that swimming and smoke seasoning. That's yeah. the hot. They're good like that. Man, it's awesome. So there's, there's the ribs, and then you got these uh, Jack Daniels baked beans that I haven't yeah. I haven't had yet. And Tarina cooked these today. I normally cook them, but uh, I had a lot going on, so we let her handle that. And she did the potato salad and the homemade yeast rolls yeah. and the deviled eggs. So she's been a busy camper too. Man, it's all good. Those beans are awesome. I can taste the, uh, the you got like some cut up ingredients in there. Yeah. Onions. Oh yeah, stuff absolutely. Like it's all fresh. Mm -hmm. And now these are a little bit different. Normally they do not take pineapple but she added pineapple thinking it would be good in it and it is it's a good addition to these beans it, it tastes great and this potato salad i was telling her I, I like it because she takes these eggs and she actually slices some of them into big you know big whole slices mm -hmm. and I, I mean i love eggs it's got big pieces of onion in there my potato salad's great <laughs> that's some good i don't know how to make potato salad I'm, i've never made it myself yeah so it's good, and she made these uh, 
homemade yeast rolls right here. And they're they're excellent, man. Everything's great. I ain't got no complaints. No, nah, me go either. Here. I'm gonna chow down and get all this stuff down, man. We'll be back here in a little bit, and we're gonna try out these uh, crawfish. We got the Chinese red pepper in it. I have a feeling they're gonna be hot, so we're gonna find out. We'll be back. All right, we're gonna show you what we're having for dessert and tease you a little bit. This is a strawberry cheesecake. I think the name actually has a lot longer name. My wife said earlier, I don't know, but it looks like a <laughs> strawberry cheesecake. It looks delicious. We're gonna be uh, digging into this soon. Yeah, it looks really good. She brought it out here earlier and showed it to us. And I can't remember exactly what she called it either, but it looks really good. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to trying some of this just as much. Yeah, we're fixing to find out. <laughs> Well, here we go, man. You uh, ready to try one? I'm ready to try one. I'm a little bit nervous because uh, yeah. Derek's done tried a couple, and he's over there. He's over there sweating, man. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. All right, let's try one out. We got us a little bucket over here for him. One thing about it, and I can tell that already pulling the head off, they're not mushy. The firmness is just right. Now right, let's see if I can do this right out of the gate and do it right. No, I didn't. We'll go ahead and peel her, peel her off. That ain't that hot, Derek. Suck the head. Oh, that's right. You sucked the head, didn't you? I Not. always suck the head. All right, so far that's real good, man. That's a. I rather have the head over the tail. Hmm. All right, here we go. Got good flavor to it. Get that heat. <laughs> <laughs> A little spice in them heads. All right, that's what I gotta try, I reckon. Let's suck a head. All right, there we go. There's a full one. Oh yeah. Starting to catch up now. Them some good crawfish, man. Really good that, flavor. It's got a great flavor. Everything mm. that you put in it, that's a different flavor than what I'm used to. I don't. I don't think people go into the extent of the ingredients. No, nah, and that's but, what I said by watching me add all that. You would think that I'm over seasoning it. Mm -hmm. Not at all. It's to me perfect. Now it's hitting the tongue. Mm -hmm. I can feel it. Yeah, I can feel the heat starting to build up on the, my tongue and the back of my throat. But uh, so far, it's not overbearing. It's right, not. No. It's not burning it, or something. It's I not can, like one of these. You just can't stand the heat. It's mm -hmm. just just the right amount for crawfish. Crawfish is designed to be hot and spicy. Mm -hmm. And where did my cold beer go? I had. Oh, well, here we go. <laughs> Yeah, I could belly up to these all night long, man. These things are great, man. We're gonna have uh, we're gonna have us a little feast right here with the canoe full of crawfish. <laughs> I love me some crawfish, and I don't really get to eat them all too often. Yeah, you know, I've never cooked them before, but I've had I've been around other people that do. Now, I used to go to the crawfish fest there in Pensacola. Oh, really? Every year. We used to go to the one here in Bluxy every year. Yep. And man, that used to be my thing to do every mm -hmm. year, once a year. And I haven't been in a while. I really need to start doing it. Have a lot of good entertainment with uh, artists and different things, you know. Right. But yeah. uh, and they're, um, you know, going back to what you were saying earlier, they're they're clean because you did the steam method, right. which uh, clean them out. And then all those flavors and all those seasons is just absorbed into that meat. Excellent man, stuff, man. man this is really the way good. to do crawfish. You've seen it firsthand, so uh -huh. when you do decide to cook your own crawfish. I'm going off your recipe. That's it, man. i have to print that sucker out <laughs> and try it. And, uh, it's so easy, you know. <laughs> Ex excellent. It's, it's excellent, man. I'm going to have to find a supplier for that Chinese red pepper. I mean, the guy will sell it to me, but... Yeah. I'll buy the big bag for less. He charged me $3 for one little pound of that, which yeah. isn't bad. But that's where this heat's coming from. That Chinese red, uh -huh. red pepper. Excellent. Yeah. Well, it's, it's great, man. I I sure appreciate you inviting me over here. Oh, you're welcome, man. I'm glad out. to have you. I've been looking forward to this. I have too, man. It's been Because it's not like we... Yeah, we're not I'm, that far apart. What, we're, we're, 100 and something miles maybe? I mean, it's um, not even two hours away. It's right. about an hour and a half away, I think. But. I think you're about as far from me that way as what New Orleans is for me the other way. I think you know, so. I'm yep. kind of right in the middle there. Yep. Get you out of here, fly. We, we, uh, we get to go down to the casino and sit by the pool and have a cocktail and uh, and come over here and eat some barbecue and some crawfish. Man. Absolutely. <laughs> it's awesome. Well, yeah. I enjoyed it. Yeah, and uh, I guess we're going to close the video out here. Yeah. yeah I got crawfish all on my hands, but you I, do too, so we're, we're good. <laughs> so we're good. <laughs>
<laughs> we're just going to go ahead and we're going to keep chowing down. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching us. I sure appreciate it being on Russ's channel over here. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Until next time, Smoky Ribs, A-Bomb 79. Make sure you check him out. <laughs>